What unites the Margicephalan dinosaurs? And what is a Margicephalan dinosaur anyway? Welcome to the Natural History of Dinosaurs. My name is Benjamin Berger. I'm a paleontologist at Utah State University, teaching in the heart of Utah's dinosaur country in Vernal. In this video, I will introduce you to the margin heads, the Margicephala, which is a group of bird-hipped ornithischian dinosaurs that arose during the late Jurassic to become one of the most iconic of the large dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous. Now, as the name suggests, the Margicephala are united by having ornamented skulls that feature two important characteristics. The first is they have a broad expansion of the squamosal bones, which in some groups becomes a large frill on the back of the skull. They also have an expansion of the jugal bones. These are the cheekbones, which become horny projections that are below the eyes. The margicephala are split into two groups. The pachycephalosaura, which are the thick-headed lizards. The pachycephalosauria uh, dinosaurs appear in the middle and late uh, Cretaceous of Asia, Europe, and North America with a more northern distribution. So far, we have not found any Pachycephalosaurian dinosaurs in Utah, despite there being a lot of late Cretaceous rocks here. Now, the Pachycephalosaura group is characterized by having thick parietal bones, which form a big bony dome on top of the skull, a bit like a football helmet while others have very ornate skulls with many ostifications. They were all bipedal dinosaurs, likely evolving from one of the smaller ornithischian dinosaurs of the middle uh, Jurassic. The other group of margicephalian dinosaurs were the iconic ceratopsia, which are the horned tops. Now, the ceratopsian dinosaurs appeared during the late Jurassic, the early ceratopsian dinosaurs were small, bipedal dinosaurs, but during the early to middle Cretaceous, they became quadrupedal, that is, walking on all four feet. And the ceratopsians are united by having a frill, which is a large expansion of the back of the skull. They also have a rostral bone. This is a hooked beak at the front of the premaxilla, and it was probably used to nip food. Now, some of the later ceratopsian dinosaurs developed large horns, and all of them had expanded chewing teeth in a large dental batteries with rows of replaceable teeth in the jaws. The ceratopsian dinosaurs became the iconic triceratops dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous, where they reached gigantic sizes and traveled in large herds across North America, Europe, and Asia. The margicephalan dinosaurs originated during the late Jurassic, a time when the continents were split off from each other by large seaways and, and oceans. The, the margicephala dinosaurs were restricted in their geographic distribution to North America, Europe, and Asia, which were still connected by northern passageways. No margicephalan dinosaurs have been found in South America, Africa, and Australia yet. And this seems to indicate that the group, this group of dinosaurs was limited to the northern continents throughout their existence until they went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous 66 million years ago. All right, so you should now be able to describe the margicephala as a group and list the traits that distinguish the two groups of the margicephala, the pachycephalosauria and the ceratopsida.